This is Flash at dro- the Dropping a Coil Show <laughs> at the RLM with uh, Larry Woods and Rob Works on the 23rd of April 2020. We're all coronaing around here. Okay, let me close all that so I can get to the stuff. Let's see if we made it here. I would assume we're live and everybody can hear us. Yeah, can y'all hear us? Say yeah. hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. There's Larry. Hello. Can everybody hear us? Hello, one, two. Can anybody hear us? Does anybody really care? <laughs> Does anybody really care? Oh, they care. <laughs> we, uh I don't know. They're thanking each other, so I guess we're... There, yeah. yeah. Hello, Larry. Hello, Hello Robert. Larry. Okay. Hello. Yep, we all hear us. Okay, there we go. So this, this so, yeah, is Larry and my brother, later. Daryl, and my other brother, Daryl. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. Dropping a Coil Show, take two. Uh, thanks, Grim, for all this. This is too fun. And for yeah. the uh, for the people out there that are chatting, we have for your chatting entertainment tonight, I care a lot, too. I just laugh at everything. Uh, we've got Barman and Beetle, Cowboy Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Chow Sedoni, Circles Out of Town, Dust, uh, Flash, Me, Frumpy, Graham Z, J. Dread, Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, Trust, No One, Vanna White, Weather Dork, Woodman, Phantom, CC66, Chaskira, Chloe, Cyborg, Noodle, E-Man, and Siv, Fury, Gromit, I Am, Lone Frog, Jays, Nines, Jays, Pwn Sauce, Sock Puppet, Smart Ass, Steven Graphics, The Holiest Roger, W4DKV, and z So, for all you chatters, if you got a question for Larry, if you type it in, I'll try to squeeze in and interrupt them with a question when they're not in the middle of something else. <laughs> and outside of that, you guys, it's your show. Have fun. All right. Rob, before, Thanks, you, before you get started, yeah. uh, 12 cubed is 1,728. That's Brilliant. That yeah, that's the that's the coil that we are modeling now. So so you're you're seventeen hundred thirty eight circuits. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, it is, and modeling that is a real challenge. I bet. I'm trying to do six, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, seventeen twenty eight. Yeah, that's... So don't get discouraged. It's all fun. Oh, no. So that's only uh, 1,456 or, or, yeah, times as many <laughs> circuits as I'm doing. Now, or, wow, no. <laughs> yeah. See, I got lost in the math there. Um. That's just insane. I mean, wrapping one of these coils, and this is like an antique, everybody. This is this is like the prototype when Larry started, what, 10 years ago, started making these things? Something like that, yeah. Or more, uh, you know, this is, this is an antique that I'm building, and it's, it's not easy. I mean, you've got to be meticulous. You get, like Larry said, it's a work of art. It has, everything has to be just perfectly lined out, uh, with no gaps between the wires. I mean, they have to be all perfectly straight in order for it to even fit on the donut properly. And, uh, I also had, uh, the first two circuits should have been right together. So I didn't have that little piece of information that I needed, uh, regardless of where the actual mark on the donut came come out. Uh, there two circuits go together. Uh, each now, two when, circuits. When you fill up the core, the the vortex, the center of the donut hole, when uh-huh. you fill that up with wire, yeah, circuit one and circuit two. If you start at one, 
Uh-huh. And and when one finishes, you start again at that spot and move yeah. on move on with your second circuit. You'll fill up the gap between one and two. Right. And I left that part out, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Which is okay, you know. Um, I would have had to pull it back apart anyway because – I didn't realize how precise it had to be. It, I mean, reason, I thought they just—I thought they just had to not be on top of each other. Well, that's important too. But the reason that they've got to be touching one another exactly next to one another is because those gaps create what's called an eddy current. So just and that a gap create, can create the eddy current. Not, yeah, and not that, an overlap. No, and that's extra heat. The overlap. Well, that, yeah, this thing would have burned up first time I put anything to it. Well, it would have got hot, but yeah. the overlap collapses the magnetic field, and any wires that you're overlapping, their their field will be compressed combined with that one that you're moving. Uh-huh. Or that's not in the right place. So that's yeah. real important as well. Yeah. So either way, I was going to have to start over, and now that I have the the ABS plastic, which is better. Um, I'll soon. I'll just uh, start over with all the proper stuff. I've got two or three hundred extra hot glue sticks. Oh, cool! <laughs> <laughs> Bought them in bulk, did you? <laughs> yeah, I've stocked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, and that's something that that a lot of these guys out there that know about GANs or doping the wire are going to disagree with, and I am on their side. Hot glue is really not the right medium to do this with because it's inorganic. You want some Uh form of organic glue. That way when the GANs, the coating from the electrolysis is going to happen when you turn the coil on, there's, there's a film going to be created over every wire. And that's called GANs or doping if you're old like me. Uh Uh, And if it's inorganic, that will create uh, a gas that's not particularly healthy. If it's organic, it won't make a problem. Uh, But you're not going to have it sitting next to you anyway, so that part really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a critical thing, but it's, yeah. it's it's a consideration. Yeah, just something else to think about when you're thinking about the safety. Yeah, just uh, use it in a well-ventilated area. Yeah. Or keep it in a well-ventilated area. And if you're going to use frequency on it, the mesh on your Faraday cage has got to be smaller than your frequency wave. Right. Okay. So that that's what captures it. That's why a Faraday cage works. It's smaller right. holes in the frequency wave. Right. But just the steel enclosure is solid. Yeah, solid it's, is great. Yeah, that that gets gotta, everything. Got to remember to ground it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm already. Uh, Think uh, along those lines is because that's something I can do is get the the copper rods and the and the uh, iron rods and because that thing will generate something on its own like three volts or something right oh yeah well just the rods in the ground with the wires wrapped around yeah you can get. well, it depends on on how far away it is and the soil moisture, but generally there's more than an amp. Um, no, excuse me, more than a volt difference between the two different rods. Uh-huh. So with you, with your four rods, that'll give you four volts, and four volts will give you forty amps out of the six six circuit coil. And you're going to want four of those to put one right. on top of each of your ground rods. Right. So, 
You know, that's 160 amps. Should be enough to do anything. That's just with these little coils that I make. Yeah. So there, I mean, there is an application. I got to make four of these things. Uh, uh, that's going to be a while. No, it's about <laughs> six months. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't lying when you just said, yeah, it's going to take a month. You were, you were right on the money, I think. Well, with with two of us doing a big coil, a 12-circuit coil that's 18 inches, with two of us wrapping it, it takes a good eight hours minimum per circuit. And there's 12 yeah. circuits on it. Yeah, so that's 96 hours. Yeah. That's and, for the bigger one. And that's people that love to do it and are dedicated. Yeah. Uh so I I think maybe that when things get started up, we'll probably be selling coils. Yeah. Uh, pre-made, not – well, we sell the kits too, but I think more people are going to want to buy one that's already made to, to play with. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I Very few people are going to want to do this wrapping. I agree. Very few people have, have the patience and the meticulous, uh, tedious – uh, uh, patience to do that. <laughs> it's like sitting and putting together a crossword puzzle. Yeah. Well, it's, it brings uh, in the gender gap too, because uh, women are better with tedious, hands-on stuff than guys are usually. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. Get their your wife mind, involved. Their minds and their hands are set for it more comfortably than for us. I always break shit when I try to make something. <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard to break your donut and your wire, but I understand. Okay, well, I get, yeah, maybe I, I meant and give up. throwing it through a window when it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something intelligent would happen, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah uh, I've been known to smash things. Got uh, to go out walk around the yard. Yeah. Well, it seems to me that this this is similar to a computer situation. If you don't do the thing in the step, the right step in the correct order, you don't get the right result. It it really helps to be versed in vortex math and know how yeah. to use the vortex math to plot the coil. Rock's we plotted yeah. every one of those with vortex math, not just the degrees around the outside of the circle. So it gets more com the more you get involved in hands on, the more complex it becomes. After after you learn a few different kinds of math, the easier it becomes. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Like if you yeah. learn programming, the computer would seem simpler. Right. Okay. And not everybody's got that kind of interest in to the, hey, I want to do it, but how it works, ah, leave that to the geeks. <laughs> All right. Yep. Well, I just figured that this would be a learning experience at, on Rob's end as well as mine and yours. For sure. Rob would be the guy making the mistakes hands-on. You can't do anything <laughs> in life that you're learning without screwing it up somehow. That's how you learn. Oh, yeah. I did it wrong. Okay, now I know not to ever do that Well, again. I misinterpreted what Larry said as far as I have all the wires laid down. None of them are crossing. It just got a bunch of gaps in between them. <laughs> and can't have that. Yeah, I thought that when he explained it, that the, you know, it had to be lay like your fingers. One wire mm, next to right. the other like your hand. Well, okay, I can see how you right. can interpret something in one way and I would another. But in the future, use that uh, that thing you used when we were getting ready to do the show. Spend more time doing that, and you'll have less problems. You know, the camera yeah. thing. Because <laughs> when you can see something, oh, it's yeah, so yeah. Much well, he didn't have that dug out at the time, so mm. that's understandable. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, keep talking. I'm gonna post a picture of this. Okay, so what we've got here, Don't Larry, know. is your student 
is doing exactly what you thought he would do, correct? He's he's sort of following in our footsteps. We had 30 mistakes first Mm -hmm. before we got anything that that did uh, very much better than a standard coil. Some of them that we made that were wrong increased the magnetic field, and that was sweet. But they didn't increase the amperage output. And you got to have the amps to do the work. And everybody's trying to catch the spikes in their system. That's because you got dirty power. When you clean your power up, you're not going to have spikes, and your systems will be useless. Okay? The the people that are, are catching a counter EMF off their coils, sure enough, you get 7 milliamps more than you put in. What are you going to do with it? And and the power supply, nobody has put a watt meter where they plug their equipment in to power their experiments. So you're really not making more than than you're putting in. And if you are, it's not very much. These things with a combination of coils, you can provide yourself with 12 volts AC to either spin a magnet or charge a circuit. When you charge a circuit, one circuit and a 12 circuit coil or more or even in six circuit, when you charge one of them, all the rest of them are going to be induced. So that means that there's a charge in all of them. So they're it's it's a pretty amazing thing because we're breaking the laws of thermodynamics by not starting a fire with these little things when we get 30 amps out of wire rated for 0.9 amps. Uh, we're getting increased amperage rather than one volt through one ohm of conductor yields one amp. We put one volt through 0.4 four, six ohms of conductor and get 10 amps. So they're um, they're different than normal coils. The math that you learned in school for electricity only has three of five variables. You do have volts, amps, ohms, but you also have frequency and magnetic fields. Now, you got a question from Duh in the RLM chat. Okay. Okay. And you got to remember, we're just the simple guys. But he says, if you generate your own electricity, why would you be connected to the power supply? And I'm not sure what he means by that, but I thought you would. Okay, yeah. Uh, in in the stuff to come, the, the 12-circuit coil and above, you don't need a power supply. The six-circuit coil that we're working with, the ROB, takes a power supply. You've got to input power to it or make a magnet spin in it one way or another. So if you've got a DC power supply, you can feed it through your DC power supply. And that's what I'm saying. That particular coil being fed through the DC power supply, yes, it's boosting up the amperage, but it's drawing amperage to operate. And you don't want that. Like you say, does don't plug the sucker in. That's not free energy. We're trying to get completely off the grid. So you make a spiral 12-circuit coil, which is different from what I'm teaching Rob, a little bit different design. With that coil, you put a stationary hallback array in the hole. That produces the 12 volts AC that you need to induce into another coil so that it charges two other coils. And you can do this with up to 16, uh, yeah, 16 coils, one big coil inducing power into 16 small coils. So, this is this is just the beginning. 
And the 1728 that I mentioned right at the beginning is the 12 cubed coil that we're, that we're modeling right now. Uh, this will be for industry. It will have 1728 different places to hook on to it. Uh, to get different amperages and voltages out of the same coil. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to a, an air core multi circuit coil. Air core, you can switch as fast as you want to and it doesn't burn out a MOSFET. With a nine circuit coil, you can replace a MOSFET. A MOSFET is an electrical device that's basically a switch, but it switches electrically. And in my mind, it takes the place of a relay, a normally open or a normally relay, closed relay. That's a, a PNP or an NPN transistor. That's a MOSFET. Uh, that's diodes, that's capacitors. Uh, you can replace every electronic component with a multi-circuit coil. I know that's going to upset a lot of you electronics folks, but that's just the way it is. That's the whole point, though. Don't you want to do that? What's the practicality of that, though? I mean... The, the practicality of that is you don't have a bunch of electronic crap that's going to go bad in five years. You don't have components that are going to burn out. The only component that you will need will be a frequency modulation board that costs $2.50. That's a plug-and-play board, and that will give you the 50 or 60 cycles that you need to operate your equipment. And we're not going to even do that. We're going to put a board in there that modulates to 54 cycles. That way you can run 50 cycle equipment or 60 cycle equipment with it. Right. And it'll be in harmony with nature. It'll be in harmony. Yeah. Yeah, it won't hurt you. Did that answer your question, or am I just dumb? Well, <clears throat> give them a little. There's a little. Yeah, bit of a there's delay. a bit, there's a little delay there, so it might take them a minute to and, respond. But still, it, I don't. I just do this little thing I do. But uh, I wasn't sure if the question was good because I don't know what this is all about completely. Yeah, I I totally understood the question. It's why do you have to plug it in if you've got free power? Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, you this, got this isn't at that stage yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not, we're that not at that stage that. yet. Well, but the end that's, result. That's basically what we're waiting for them to finish doing all of their safety testing and research and, and development of the uh, the manuals and stuff. So once that's all done, then he can, he can publish and then they're going to start building kits and selling those. Um, and so those will be the ones that you can actually get off the grid. Yeah. And Although what great timing there's you a cautionary have. tale in that. Yeah, and the smallest coil that we'll be involved with will be a 12-circuit. The 6-circuit is simply a proof of concept. Besides that, you'll, get, you'll just love what the 12-circuit does. Yeah. Well, how many critical mistakes have you made so far, Rob, that you can count? Um, well, two. Okay, out of a possible yeah. hundred or I mean, well, cause it, it sounds like this could go wrong at, at many, many parts, you know, well, places. Well, I screwed two parts up. I didn't I didn't get the wires close enough together and straight and perfect. They got to yeah, be straight and yeah. perfect. I mean, if you see that picture, you know that it no, looks. I, I there's gaps that. and all kinds of stuff. You know, it's not straight. And, I mean, that's got to be. Uh, and the second thing I screwed up is I wrapped it backwards. Um, and and both of those could have been my fault. 
Well, no, the backwards wasn't your fault. It was my own fault. I did it. I just got confused and did it wrong. My numbers confused me because I I was started out doing uh, 360 degrees, and then halfway through I went to a one through nine sequence, uh, which is all you really got to do when you if you're if you if anybody's doing one of these. Once you have your donut, you mark your 36 uh, marks for your 360 degrees, 10 degrees uh, apart. And just number them one through nine. Start anywhere. Use just number one through nine, one through nine, one through nine, and that four times, that's that's 36, four times nine. So that was makes things so much easier just to do it that way uh, to me. Uh and, and then uh, the part the part anyway. that Larry screwed me up on was the first and second circuit. You you have to start the second circuit immediately behind the first circuit, and then you skip the third circuit or the third spot. Start the third circuit at number four, <clears throat> and so you end up with basically three bands of wire going around this donut. What looks like three, but it's actually six circuits, but it's three bands of wire. Uh, when you're looking at it, yeah. When when it's no the way you can tell that it's two circuits is by the leads coming off of it. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, does the this, wire. He's waiting for the diagrams, equations, and a working model. Oh, okay. Well, it'll be about but, a year. But I think, yeah, I think whatever you told him must have made sense because now he sees the, you know, it yeah. can be done. It can be done in words. Then now you just got to do it in visual, you know, yeah. physical. That's the fun part, though. Well, I, I wish I'd have been able to see that uh, uh, model. The yeah, if I was showing you that to begin it. with, you'd have got yeah, it. Yeah, that would have that that saved a little bit of time. Because I would have known I was doing it wrong because it's got to be solid, exactly side by side, straight and smooth and perfect. It's going to be a piece of copper artwork when you get done. It really is. And if you take it to the platform, that's what you tell them. This wire, I mean, it kinks. Oh, yeah. And once it kinks, it's real hard to get that kink straight out of it again. Especially if, if you're in in the middle of a don of the donut hole, um, um, you're trying to get one of them. I mean, it's it's not easy. But <laughs> if, if you don't get that kink out, you done screwed up. So just one little kink like that will screw the whole thing up. Yes, sir. So that, it's just that'll, it's got to be one hundred percent. That'll make a blowout spot that uh-huh. will create heat and it will probably create enough heat to melt the wire in that spot. Yeah. Damn. Well, this thing would have just melted all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you, been, uh, you found out oh, how welding man. was invented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have hooked that thing up, and that donut just would have went, <laughs> collapse on itself. We would have seen you on the news. <laughs> right? Fire. Well, differently than we planned to. Let's just say that. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever hope to be on the news for well, any reason. With all, with all this, with all this uh, <laughs> not r- driving and all, people are – staying home and all this, that, and the other. This is probably the best time in history with all the technology we got to make this move. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's that, coming out. They've been, they've been depress, or suppress, suppressing it for for decades. Deep pressing. 100 years, actually. And uh, But it's coming out now. Way too many people are working on similar things. Like we discovered on the one of the first shows we did, I went out and randomly just looked for a five kilowatt generator and found one that's running on a, a, some type of coil uh, system similar to what uh, Larry's doing, but they have a, a battery and moving parts and stuff. 
But the, the, the technology is coming out. There's nothing they can do to stop it. Yeah, I, there's way too many people knowledgeable about it now. Yeah, it, everybody. There's not everybody. There's lots and lots of people out there that are doing the same kind of thing. Uh-huh. That don't specifically have an electrical background. They're getting right. some of the tiny points wrong. They're missing some of the tiny points. And that's really cool because every coil that everybody makes is going to do something. Every oh, yeah. single coil will do something. So you may have invented the the best thing to use for a new cigarette lighter or or <laughs> whatever. With with these six circuit <laughs> coils, you can put an iron bar in the vortex right in the middle of the hole. And that iron bar will heat up because of the magnetic field. So some of these are going to make electric furnaces. <laughs> what, what about wrapping <laughs> it wrong in, in what you guys were talking about before we went live? If if you wrap it's it wrong. Going, it's going the wrong way. Yeah, I wrap mine backwards, basically. So and that really left, doesn't make a difference. Instead of taking a right, I took a left. But would it work down under? You were yeah, we were talking about, about yeah, we were joking about whether uh, the coils would work differently in the northern hemisphere as opposed to the southern hemisphere. I and don't really know that part, but they that would, would be want... interesting. I mean, because all of what we, we know, vortexes uh, in water, like toilets, flush one way in the north and they flush the other way in the south, in the southern hemisphere. The vortex in your toilet turns to the left or to the right, mm -hmm. and they go in opposite directions, whether you're in the north or southern. That's uh, because they're upside or down. What uh, exactly is a vortex, though? I forgot. A tornado. A vortex, oh, okay. a whirlpool. A tornado. A tornado is a, vorpe a vortex. A tornado. A whirlpool, uh, water running down your drain is a vortex when it spins mm -hmm. around. Oh, okay. So it's and and well, the joke was about it's, it. It's going it's the other uh, way. what right, many I people claim to be the fundamental uh, uh, generation of energy in in matter. Yes. Hmm. Uh, we created Saturn uh, in the in the lab Monday last Monday. Uh, there's a new coil that one of the guys, a new switch, uh, a new variation of this design that one of the guys came up with that it starts flat on the outside edge. And as it moves over the hump, it curls to 90 degrees as it goes down through the vortex. Uh, that's going to be a propulsion unit. It's it's an amazing system. See, so it has a squared off toroid. Uh, no, it's it's still still a donut, but the wires start flat on the outside edge, and there's a wave that twists. Okay, explain 90 what you degrees. mean by starting flat. Okay, on the outside edge, like you've got to run your circuit, uh -huh. all of, all of the wires begin going up going up over the donut. Straight up. Straight up. As they go up over the donut, there's a ledge for them to ride on that's a slow twist to 90 degrees as it gets into the middle of the donut. Uh-huh. That's going to be uh, like the Russians are using on their submarines now, a silent motor. That's going to create a moving vortex in liquid. Oh, wow. That's your new boat motor, your new outboard motor. It's going to be a silent motor oh, that's just a circle. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. A silent? Wow. Uh, yeah, see, all these ideas are just, they're so, you know, I've seen them all in movies. Yep. But yep. didn't really know. 
at the time, that's what I was seeing. It's like hindsight. You go, wow, I've seen something like this before. Where was it? And, you know, they mix a little bit of the truth when they make a film, and then they just make shit up. Mm -hmm. And the person watching the movie, if they don't have any experience, they don't know they're being lied to. And I've fallen victim of that with film a few hundred times in my life. I saw it in the film. It has to be, you know, possible. No, you can't do that. There are people out there that through frequency are creating the elements in the periodic table. That's wow. the first step to a replicator. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That uh, Nassim Harriman talks about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's, well, there's, there's else steps is, to a replicator. So while everybody else has been, you know, kept locked down and financially punished, there's a whole shitload of you brainiacs doing all this incredible work. And yeah, it's, well, it's not really affecting not, us because well, we got well, our nose But it's affecting a lot of other people to. that could probably be interested in this if they had opportunity, but they're being, you know, herded. Right, right. But still, I didn't realize there was so much of it. Because every time Larry comes on, he's telling, hey, we started this project and we're working on that project and there's a bunch of people doing it everywhere, all over the globe. Well, hmm. I was so now I'm starting to wonder if you need, don't need a southern hemisphere contact to find out if your uh, coil wrapping matters. <laughs> if anybody's down there is working on it, you could connect to them. It would be wonderful. Well, so yeah, it would be kind of interesting input. to find out, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Solomon knows anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, uh, the, <laughs> that man was brilliant. The, yeah. the only so, variance that we've seen as far as location is concerned, yeah. we've tested in Missouri, we've tested in Texas, and we've tested in California, and we've tested in Indonesia. All of the different okay. places that we tested, we got a different output. Some, some a few amps more, some a couple of amps less. The output of these machines depends on the the ambient magnetic field where you're testing, which is fluorescent lights and and electronic equipment. It's where you are in relation to a magnetic ley line. I was just fixing to go there. Yeah, and and we haven't tested where ley lines cross yet. I want to do that. I really yeah. feel like we'll get a higher output a, there a, than anywhere vortex. else. Yeah. Making a vortex in a vortex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, that's we'll, gonna, we'll have to make a trip out to uh, Sonoma or wherever that was. I'm up for that. Plasma mining. We now have a coil that will plasma mine. What's that? Uh, that's melting melting the, rock. Yeah, it's melting rock. Uh and it it's really an interesting thing. Two dissimilar rods, one copper, one iron, place it at both ends of a gold vein, charge it, the gold melts out. Oh. Huh. Uh and using frequency for when they crush up their ore using frequency to separate it rather than all those chemicals. With frequency, you can separate it according to its atomic weight, and right. your 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 crushed material will stratify. Each different component will be on its own level. Yeah. It's like a, a electronic... Uh, um, oh, what the hell is that thing called? A vibrator. Centrifuge. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like an electronic centrifuge. centrifuge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like that. Yeah. Only, only it vibrates it. Yeah. Well, so, I, yeah, saw it. Just... I saw something strange that on the Internet that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention because you're the smart guys, right? I'm going to post it in the RLM chat. If you feel like talking about it, bring it up. Okay. Click. Boom. Well, it's an interesting thing. I I don't know how to define it, 
So I just oh yeah, I saw you post this earlier. I wanted I, I wanted to bring this up. Yeah, if okay, you collapse yeah. an underwater bubble with a sound wave, light is produced. Ah, yes. and nobody knows why. Because it implodes rather than explodes. It collapses rather than expands to, to blowing up. Okay. Well, it sounds better when they say nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery. That's what I mean. Well, that doesn't I'll, explain I'll... why it makes light. Ah, okay. So there is the, a surprise. The, the implosion is the release of hydrogen. Okay. The, the light is the release of hydrogen. So it's an actual... Uh... It's a spark explosion. Yeah, it's a spark. It's it's an it's an explosion within an implosion. Yeah, it's an, <laughs> it's an implosion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get, you get right. when with electrolysis, you get two different kinds of hydrogen. With high amperage, you get an explosion, and that's a real low sounding pop when you light the bubbles. Okay. With low amperage, you get an implosion, which is a great deal stronger, and that is, you can tell that by the high pitch sound of the, of the bubbles that you set on fire. Interesting. But that's a bubble on the surface. This is a bubble underwater. Yeah. Same thing. And you use it's a sound like, wave to collapse it. Right. Which, and then it, then it, Burst into a bunch of other bubbles, yeah, but it, it creates it makes light in the process. Yeah, yeah it's the it's the hydrogen explosion or implosion that's happening. Interesting. You know, through, and that's a dolphin can do that. A whale can yeah. do that, I think. But I know yeah. that dolphins can do it. Yeah, with their sonar. Yeah, that's how they fish. Yeah. Huh. Okay, and you got another question from Mr. Duh. He asks, does Larry have video of this stuff? And I don't think you do, but I don't know what exactly stuff means. We we have a test video that's gone around to a few investors, but it's very poor quality, and it's not really for the general public. Besides that, the coil that we have in the video showing the test is covered up. You can't see what it looks like. Hmm. Well, no. isn't isn't that very governmental of you? <laughs> uh, hey, this is the game that these pricks want us to play in the first place. Well, so, yeah, you know, you you gotta have an investor in order to do anything. I mean, yeah. it seems like the people with money don't know how to do it, and the people that know how to do it don't have the money. So. <laughs> yeah. You, you got to know how to do it. Always end up getting fucked by the guy with the money. Yeah, and and you got to have a patent in order to get an investor to give you some money. Well, yeah. you, if you try to patent this sort of thing, DOD is going to classify it, and you can only work for the government. Well, these coils are going to put people in outer space. It's going to make you the very strongest military in the world. We don't want that. We don't want that. This is for free energy. It's not for destruction. And I just, we decided not to patent and go open source just because of the government. Well, okay, and, and Larry, that, one more yeah, interruption. Okay. Can I send Larry some money to get a picture of his coils? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, not yet. Soon, and you won't take money. Soon, we'll be publishing pictures. See, that's uh, that's the beauty of this, guys. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're going open source with this, and eventually, you'll be able to buy a kit to make your own, or to buy a coil, and some of the parts that you'll need, uh, which would be the the frequency modulation board and whatever else. Uh, you know, Grim, Grim wants to know when is soon. <laughs> That's uh, my question too. Well, yeah. yeah, soon is anywhere anywhere between <laughs> one and five years. 
<laughs> depending on how much money we get and, and if this group still works as hard as they are. We've come light years since November, since I joined this group. Yeah. It, it's they They have taken our designs and run with them. Yeah. They, they've rebuilt. Yeah, they're coming up with all kinds of different applications, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Anything you can think of that's electric. How would you like to have a refrigerator that runs on its own? A freezer. An electric, yeah. an electric range that you just turn it on and it doesn't draw any power. Uh, a car. Let's build a car. Let's go to a race car, an electric race car. They have two motors in them. Just going to two wheels. Yeah, they, it, it's it strikes me Mike? as odd. Is he in here? Who? Uh, Mike? Yeah, Mike's here. Mike. But it, it strikes no, me not. as odd that we can see all these movies about shit, and then when you talk about the same thing you see in a film, it's can't do that. <laughs> yeah. The that's mentality behind all this. No, that's all we've been told. No, you can't. Forever. My dad oh, never told yeah. me you can't. He said, try it. Find out. <laughs> yeah. If you we can do it, all, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can do it, we're going to get rich. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> yeah, I, grew, well. I grew up with metal cars to play with. Metal toys with sharp spots on them. If you got hurt, it was your own damn fault. <laughs> yeah, right. All the stuff that they, they, you know, they're afraid of now. <laughs> I have a special name for people that are afraid, but I won't use it on this show. <laughs> so you're talking about race cars. They have two motors? Yeah, a, a race car has got two motors on it, one for each front wheel or one for each back wheel, depending on how they got set up. Those motors on the opposite end from the drive motors, they stick up with a real long shaft on them that's just hanging out in space spinning Huh. What you do is you fit magnets, as many as you can get around it, as many different poles as you can get on that round surface. Put a magnet over it, put a toroidal coil over it, and uh -huh. that gives you power. Every time the, core, the car is moving, it generates electricity. So you run that electricity. First, you have two capacitor banks. One for making the car move. You've got mm -hmm. to charge that bank initially one time. Right. Once you, once the car starts moving, it generates electricity, recharges that system. When that system is full, it charges another system. Your car continues to run. Everything is charged up. When you get to where they're going, you plug into the building to power the building. It's that simple. You don't have to have batteries that you got to replace every five years for five or ten grand like Tesla. That's stupid. You don't want something that you've got to plug into your house or, or wherever to an electric yeah, station. That's to not charge. solving any problems. Not at all. You gotta build another ten thousand power plants to call for that power. Right. It's 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 not where we're headed. Not where we should be headed anyway. But that Dustin, same it sounds incredibly complicated. That same principle can be used on a helicopter, on a train, on any kind of, of any kind of transportation device. Yeah, there's endless possibilities of Two, two of these coils bucking one another will give you levitation. The hoverboards have been a reality since Back to the Future. The, yeah. the uh, uh, who's the public safety group? Um, OSHA? No, it's the consumers, the consumer safety group. Oh, oh. UIL? Okay. They put all those, there's 25,000 of them were made right before the film so that they could sell them. And the Consumer Protection Agency said, no, they're dangerous, and they're all stored away somewhere. Wow. 
So levitation is is just as simple as bucking two coils. You got to oh. provide them with enough amperage to lift your load. But just imagine what what that effect that, that would have on warehouses. Oh yeah, push you it know, with your finger. Shipping. Yeah. Dockyards. Down them. Yeah. Yeah. Flip a switch and a freaking uh, uh, freight container flips off all the ground and you, you grab it by a handle and drag it along with you. Yeah. As long as you're not going downhill, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about that. You yeah. wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, if you've got the kind that do the bubble and... Even even without the bubble, downhill's not going to make any difference unless it slides off the the thing that you've got it on. Yeah. Because you've still got... Well, yeah, because it's, it's going to stay level. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Anyways, yeah, just the... Yeah, it does is maglev. Yep, that's exactly mm-hmm. right. Exactly. And a maglev train. These, Boy, these are things... Subways... Coat the coat the interior of a subway with graphene, and generate power as you run the train through it, so that yeah. all the cities on that train line can be serviced with that power. Yeah, there's so many things that we can do. Places like New York yeah. could provide could provide power for all the state just with their subways. Yeah, it's crazy. There's no profit in that, though. Yeah, no, you can't charge for it every month. Well, I I wonder if they won't be able to play the paper games with this that they play with things like oil and currency in the future. Well, ar- around here, they've started taxing people that have solar energy on their house. Yeah, bastards. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Tax? That is. That's, that's the whole- dumbest shit ever. Yeah. The whole point oh, you're to... producing your own electricity. We're going to tax you for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, fuck you. <laughs> some places you can't even collect rainwater. Yep, Oregon. They put some guy in jail for collecting rainwater. That's plumb silly. It is. Completely people insane. Love it. The people These authoritarian motherfuckers them. are just that. They... And with this new shit, yeah. these <laughs> these these freaking. Control freaks are just they've they've gone off the deep end, man. They think I mean they're they're banning uh bicycles, uh, but not hiker not joggers. Well you can catch a jogger. To, to these. Yeah. How are you gonna catch a bicycle without uh, shooting it? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you can get away on a bike. It's all just ridiculous. These people are just pulling shit off out of their hat and pulling and it out it's of their working. Ass. Oh, and people are rolling over for it. Yeah. And it's just crazy because they're scared well, of a virus that can't even be proven to exist. Right. But they've seen all those movies for 40 years, priming them for Yeah. This. Yeah. The oh, people yeah. that seem to be falling for this still are the ones that watch the mainstream, too. The news, because the news is huge. Yeah. Millions and millions of people. Watch that garbage every day. They can't lie to you because it's on TV. <laughs> Got to be real. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Sure. And right. those wacky wackos that are on the Internet are all making shit up. Yep. So I wonder what would happen if I put 18 volts at 480 milliamps into this coil. you get 180 amps out of it. 180 amps. Yeah. If you put 18 volts into it, it's a 10 times multiplication. That's going to burn it up. (laughs) No. You can use wire that's 10 times smaller than the rated wire, than the rated amperage for it, and get the same output from it. Right. Well, that's what I'm talking about. This coil that's... We've been talking about putting three volts into it. The only reason I brought that up is because I'm looking at a solar panel, a seven watt solar panel kit you can buy at Harbor Freight for thirty bucks. It puts out eighteen volts at four hundred eighty milliamps, half an amp. 
and that's a three by five solar panel. Uh, no, it's a little bigger than that. It's twelve by thirteen. Holy mackerel! And how much are they getting out of it? About there. Eighteen volts and half a, half an amp, or yeah, four hundred and eighty oh. milliamps. Oh boy! It, there you go. It takes three hundred percent more energy to create a solar panel than it makes in its entire lifetime. A solar yeah. panel is a whole bunch of photovoltaic cells in series. Rather than fixing it when one of them burns out and nothing works, they throw that whole thing away. That has got to be going to a hazardous waste facility. Right. So what's the point? And wind power. Critters won't feed under wind power. Where they have wind yeah. power and fracking, the frequency set up in the soil from the from the wind power, the thump 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 of those blades, is helping to like it. It's like turning a drill for fracking into a hammer drill. It's the difference between a regular drill and a hammer drill when they do it in conjunction with a wind system. Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah. That's earthquakes. Yeah, this thing says it can maintain 12 volt batteries and all this kind of stuff. But as the yeah, as the power yeah. source for my coil, I mean, uh, I, why yeah. did you pick why did you pick three volts? I guess I'm curious to know. Uh, well, we started out with one volt. Yeah. And got 10 amps. And graduated up to three. Yeah, and went to three. It's a good thing. Well, it, not the first time. The first time I burned out my oscilloscope by putting 12 volts into it. Uh -huh. Boom. That's 120 amps going through a low voltage probe. Huh. Not good. Not good. So, uh, so it threw, it threw 120 amps when you hooked 12 up, 12 well, volts up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Without burning the coil out. Well, yeah, that heated the coil right away, but it, it smoked my oscilloscope, and as soon as it did, I turned everything off. Obviously, yeah. Okay. But if you left it on, it would have burnt the coil out. Yeah, it would have started point. a fire. It would have started a yeah, fire. Yeah, it would, it would have melted down. Yeah. 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 Uh, so three, three volts is, is what you've come up with, the max that you can run through this without burning itself out. At 22 gauge wire, yes. Okay, so 20 gauge wire. Is... Uh, 20 gauge wire is rated for one amp, uh, so you could you could still run it up to three volts. You should be able it, to run more. Or it will. Run it, it would. It would. Yeah, it'll run just a little bit more. I don't know if it'd take a full four volts or not. Okay. So in order to use something like this solar solar panel I'm looking at, I'd have to step that down or something. Yeah. Okay. Just looking at different things, the uh, different applications. Yeah, uh we hooked it to a um 50 milliamp cell phone charger solar panel, uh, yeah. a little little three inch by five inch solar panel. Right. And uh, that gave us the 30 amps that we needed. It gave us three volts and it gave us 30 amps. Now, okay, okay. at three volts, 30 amps is only 90 watts. Right. Okay, so that's less than a 100 watt light bulb. But again, this is the sixth circuit is a proof of concept. Right. 1.5 watt. Here's a 1.5 watt. So it's putting out. Uh, holy shit! It's putting out 24 volts. Uh, That's 24 volts is giving you a watt and a half. Yeah. Yeah. 
That means it's putting out tiny, tiny amperage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, volts times amps is watts. Yeah. So, yeah, if it's only putting out 1.5 watts, it's not giving me the volts. It's giving me, I mean, the amps. It's just giving me 24 volts and 1.5 watts. So what does that come out? Okay, to? watts divided by volts is amps. Okay. So 1.024.0625 amps. Okay, so about a half an amp. No. Oh, point oh six. Yeah. Point oh six. Okay. Yeah. Not even ten percent. Not even half a percent of an amp. Or yeah. yeah. But see, you don't need any input amperage with these because they're going to multiply the amperage according to the voltage that's put into them. So even with no amperage, 24 volts would burn this thing up. Yeah. we Our power supply has the ability to turn off any amperage going into the coil. You can feed the coil with amperage if you want to, but you can turn it all the way off where the power supply is not feeding anything into the coil other than voltage. The readings come out. At three volts, at, at one volt, we get 10 amps on the output of the coil. At three volts, we get 30 amps at the output. That's just weird. What, what's the name of this power supply? <laughs> uh, it's just a standard Amazon power supply. Amazon. It goes up to 30 volts and 30 amps. You can, Amazon is a brand, or you just bought no, it? No, no, I just bought it off of Amazon. I don't so even remember what brand it is. Just a DC power supply. Yeah. Yeah, and this is flat line DC that we're putting in. It's not modulated. It's not square wave. It's flat line. Constant. Right. Okay. Hey, I've got to take a little break. Flash, you there? Oh, of course I am. All right. All right. I've got Here to, to help. mute out for, for a couple of minutes. i got to make I, a pit stop. I think I could talk to Larry all by myself, sir. <laughs> Please Have do. you got your permit? I'll be uh, absolutely, I wrote it myself. Okay, because uh, I'm I'm not one of those rule follower kind of people, you know. Eh. When people tell me not to do something, it's generally what I'm going to start with. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, you know, and we're such an odd group. We don't seem to have anything in common, the three of us, but we we do. <laughs> we're like different levels of of rebel. <laughs> and you're the baddest of the group, Mr. Larry. No. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, but you're the experimenter that takes on the impossible. And then you're teaching Rob how to do it. And uh, the thing with the, the camera coming up so late in the game was kind of a surprise to me. I thought you guys had thought of that already. See? What I don't do is make suggestions to smarter people often because I think, well, that's dumb. I need and all I, the help I can get. Well, I thought of why don't you guys cam and talk it over, so, but instead of texting and talking, because seeing things with your own eyes, some reason in this life, changes things. Well, this coil is about 10 years old, and it was down in a box in the basement, and I just... Never thought about bringing it up and showing it to him. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But, you know, everybody's learning through this experimental process somewhere or another. Even I, you. Learn, I learn every single week. Every every time we talk to somebody different, I learn something new. I mean, Mondays are really paying off in your uh, in the bigger oh. scope thing. The things you're finding out are possible. Those people are geniuses. I'm surprised that they even let me talk. <laughs> That's how I feel I, here. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm serious, man. Every Everybody is an expert in their own little field. Yeah. And, and we've only got two electronics guys out of 21. Everybody else is a different field. We've got physics. We've got chemistry. We've got mechanical engineers. We've got just everything. 
Uh, we've got people right, right. that have that have tested for for cash or cashy or whatever her name is uh, that realize that some of the stuff that he does isn't as good as what he claims, but the other stuff is. Uh, GANS, which is what he calls it, is doping the wire. They've been doping oh, yeah. wire. They've been doping wire since the Egyptians. So it's nothing new. It's just he'd come up with a new name for it. Oh, like the <clears throat> thing that we don't talk about. You know, <laughs> the common cold. Yeah. The flu. Yeah. Yeah, just relabel something and people think it's brand new. Look what we just discovered. No, you didn't. <laughs> yep. Sit down, Frank. It's not your turn. <laughs> <laughs> but but I thought there'd be cake. <laughs> You know, we've we've just got this world of crazy people right now. So it's kind of nice to spend a little time uh, being positive about something. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, all the negatives just war- warn itself. It, it's just, I don't know. There's just so much of it. It's hard to avoid it. There's so, always something new that's going to kill you every single day. Don't oh, worry man. about it. I know I would have never got this old if I'd have spent all my time cowering in a corner. I would have probably died of fear. <laughs> so I'm lucky I got this old. <laughs> Lack of pussy. Something would have got me. <laughs> That's it. There's some things in life that you just got, like a flower. You got to have sunshine. You got to have water. You got to have dirt to live in. And then they went and did all this other stuff. Ruined it. Yeah. Well, if you could take the society out of this crap and just do stuff without, you know, regulation and government oversight, <laughs> we'd well, be we'd be living in the 21st century instead of standing six feet of fi- six feet apart, trying not to sneeze like a little idiot. Mm-hmm. People have got violent over that. Ooh, I've seen videos. Well, I've got bronchitis, so I cough quite a quite frequently Uh-oh. and boy when i go out to a grocery store and and cough people Ooh. get weird whoa you're a danger yeah. to your fellows absolutely <sighs> well you you know the people are you in a big city or a smaller place well there's about three quarters of a million people in our greater kansas city oh, yeah. area yeah, but i true. i live in independence and it's just a small town. So you, when where you do your commerce, you know the people that you work with, like Grim. Yeah, yeah, mostly yeah, that small. Yeah, well, that's what it's like here. Yeah, the, the and, checkout yeah. people at the grocery store know who I am. Yeah, and it's yeah. just amazing how nice people can still be after you know, <laughs> through all this crap. <laughs> the Danes picked up on it right away. They never went with mandatory anything. Everything's been all, you know, you volunteer or you don't. So it's been an easy lockdown for us. A a virus cannot live in a saline solution. That's salt water. Jeez. We've, how many? Salt water nasal spray will cure a cold. (laughs) I saw a commercial the other day for a cold remedy. Yeah. Take this, and within 10 days, you'll be well. Ten That's the normal course of a cold. Yeah, 10 days. Wow. Well, modern science, it's got a lot of people fooled. Because look mm-hmm. at all, you know, if you can stand on a street corner with a piece of plastic in your hand and call France, well, then maybe they're telling the truth about this virus. You know what I mean? I think that's how simple <laughs> people take it. Oh, they would lie about one thing. They'd lie about everything. And look, look at all we have. Yeah, look at what you got. Mm. I'm not impressed. Nah, I've been pretty bored with the social thing for about the last 10, 12 years. And now, now that I live, I've been living isolated by my own choice for pretty much eight going on nine these islands and small places and stay away from the city. The city's yep. just a just nothing. It's not worth my attention anymore. <laughs> when I go someplace, so, I don't want to see the cities. I don't want to see the buildings. I want to see the country. Oh, 
Well, I'm one of those weirdos that still likes people. So, whew, boy, talk about it. Weirdo. Out of time. Yeah, I know. I know, but not everybody, but there's a few people that, <laughs> like you guys. I don't know why I like either of you two. Don't understand half of what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, just, Rob's uh, back. So the little banter session is over, and now we'll get back to the stuff. The stuff. Well, you, yeah, you had to take a yeah, I went, left turn. Yeah, and now, and now, it's time for the important stuff. Larry, catching fish this week? No, I haven't gone yet. Today oh. is the first day that it was not raining, and it was raining early this morning, and now the sun's out, and what the hell am I doing on the radio? And you're missing that for this. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go. I'll go yeah, much. Okay. Uh, where were we? Uh, so you're talking about cars and electric cars and race cars and yeah. You're talking about uh, this shaft coming out. Now, what is that? It, on the on the opposite end from the drive end of these electric motors for the race cars. Uh-huh. Is is the shaft sticks out of the housing, and it uh-huh. rotates. Oh, it goes all the way over to the other tire. No, 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 no. It it just sticks out in midair. There's okay. there's one electric motor that goes to each wheel. And, oh, okay. So you got four of them. Well, these only had two, but yeah, one one to the front wheels or one to a uh, pair to the back okay. wheels. So you've got a, basically like a solid axle between the two wheels, and you've got an electric motor uh, geared to that axle. No, uh, both of their independent uh, independent drive systems on two wheels. So the motor just runs the one wheel. Yeah. The wheels rotate independently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you have so to it's just a drive motor on the wheel with a just some type of gear set up. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. And okay, and then out. on the on the back side of the motor, the shaft comes out. Now this is your design. What you did is put this long shaft out and put the magnets on it. No, the shaft on these particular motors already stuck out. All we had to do is put magnets on them. No. Oh. And how long how long of a of a shaft are we talking about? The shafts are about nine inches. And they got like a, a nine inch tail shaft on these things, or maybe they're set up for double sided or something. Uh I don't see any point in this thing sticking out and rotating other than they had a longer shaft and they had a housing. I yeah. I don't I don't see any reason. Well they're probably repurposing a different kind of motor. Maybe. That's designed for something else and it had a double shaft or, or that's just the way that they were built. Yeah, is my guess. But all we so you, so you line this thing with magnets. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming you're using high powered neodymium or something along those lines. Yeah, in fifty fours. That yeah, so, neodymium. Yeah. Uh, and then just slip a coil over it, and you got it done. Let's so see. Put you line this whole thing with magnets. Slip a coil. Uh, what kind of coil? Like a toroidal coil, and this can be done with a standard toroidal <laughs> coil, even. But one oh, really? like you're making, one like you're making, but we use okay. we use a twelve circuit on it. An eighteen you use inch twelve. Coil. Yeah. So you got an eighteen inch coil. How big is the inner diameter on that eighteen inch coil anyway? Three inches. It's three inches. Uh, or four inches. Four inches. Okay, so four inches. And this how big around is this shaft? Uh the shaft is about an inch and a quarter. Okay. So it's fitting pretty snugly inside the Yeah. Yeah. Inside uh the, we, once you get magnets wrapped around it, I I'm I what I don't I guess I imagine they're what, quarter inch thick magnets or so? Uh be my we guess. Put, we put a whole shitload of three millimeter by one millimeter. Oh, so thin, real thin magnets. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it's it's just the field. It's it's positive and negative. Every time it switches from positive and negative, it develops a charge. Right. The, the stronger the magnet, the more charge yeah, it develops. The more induction you get. Yeah. So we've got N54s, and I think we got like twelve of them. It just, we got a bunch of them around it that were different uh-huh. polarity, so that every time it rotates, it gets multiple charges. Right. And we did that on both of them, ran it to two different capacitor banks, and you're done. That's it. And so it's what not did this? Simple. So this this was an existing race car that you're talking about. Yeah. Y'all worked on. Yeah. And so what was the uh what was the what was the difference? What 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 where did you go? It was doing what before and what it, would it do after y'all got done with it? We replaced a thousand pounds of batteries with less than three hundred pounds of capacitors. And that car went from 150 miles an hour to 189 miles an hour because of the reduced weight. Just because of the reduced weight, yeah. That's the only thing I can figure. We didn't increase the spin on those motors any. Yeah. Well, they were already pushing to their capacity based on. Yeah. uh, But you just took. Now, that did that completely eliminate the batteries? Yeah. You never have to have no, a battery. No batteries in that car at all. None at all. None at all. You you've got a, a capacitor bank for all of the radio and, and light. That's where you're talking whatever. about. You got two capacitor banks. One to start it off, and then the uh, once it's going, it'll charge them both. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. basically, you have to park with a full charge on one of those capacitor banks. Yeah, in the and you're beginning. Good to go. Yeah, your yeah. running capacitors have got to be charged one time first. Right. And after that, you don't have to charge them again because they charge themselves. They charge themselves. All the coils. Uh-huh. That's just something that could totally be done. It's easy. See, these are things, I mean, it's so easy. These are things we could have had for the last hundred years. <laughs> These, yeah. This is the this is why I get mad because <laughs> yeah because you know not only are we being fucked right now, it, there's a hundred years of innovation that we've missed out on. Yeah, we could be so this, so yeah. so far advanced right now. I mean, we could yeah. be having colonies on the Mars and Moon and then and then. We could be halfway across the fucking galaxy by now. Yep. Yeah, but then those rich guys couldn't boink the little kids. Yeah, well, fuck that. Something had to give. Technology, you know what? boinking they, they little They could kids. have what they wanted to because we've got uh, uh, cloning technology. They can clone all the little freaking toys they want. Maybe they already care. did. If we, could, if we could have what we should have, I wouldn't even care what they did. All right, why, would, look, why should we give a fuck what those psychopaths are doing? As long because as they run everything. Else. Because they run everything. Well, Rob, that's they, why, they, because they're fucking with everybody else. They supply us with all the shit we got to have, and if you don't take their no, shit, they don't, you don't supply get a goddamn thing. Oh, uh, okay. No, they don't. Like, yeah, all right. If you say so. They, they don't supply a thing. They, they explain the shutdown if they don't supply a thing. They tell you what to do and you do it. And if you don't do it, you suffer. And then if you do do it, you suffer too. <laughs> they don't even supply the brute force they use to control this shit. They do a bunch of ourselves. other idiots to do it. Now, yeah, and we've got uh, hmm. People that uh, self believe. Everybody needs to read the David Icke book called "I Am Me, I Am Free," and that will explain exactly what's happening with all the people, all the snitch mentality bullshit. Oh yeah, I the herd, that the back, herd yeah. polices itself. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you'd think that. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I've been away from the state so long, it's a different country than the one I left. I'm not talking about here. I'm talking about everywhere. I it's live not, in a place. It's no different. I'm, I'm telling you, the place I live is so different than everything I read and see. 
on the news and the internet and all that shit. No. Yeah, but you break their taboos, they're gonna they're gonna be just like the rest of them. Well, they don't they have just, it. You just have a, you just have, there aren't any. you just have a different set of of criteria. That's all. I haven't seen a set of well outside of if you're a pharmacy, you know, if you go to the pharmacy, you got to stand apart. There's only a few of these places that are playing that game. Most most of the businesses in town don't get three more three customers in an hour. It's a small yeah, I'm town. Not, I'm not so, even really talking about that in particular. Uh, the the whole virus thing. Uh, this yeah, is going on. This, this this is the way it is. It was and is long before the virus whole thing started. People, I mean, this book was written years ago. <laughs> Right, uh, and, there, and there's a fringe. And, and it's all about, you know, there's the people tell on each other. Wow. You know, the, the, they're, they're, they're programmed to control each other. I mean, that's mm. that's what they do. That's why you got, hell, I, I, could, I could bring up a dozen examples. A uh, woman calling the cops on a neighbor because they're letting their kids play in the yard in the without States. being out there with them. Or maybe them. the U.K., that, I've seen you know, links from the it, UK and Germany and the States, but in Australia. Yeah. But nothing yeah, I mean else it's it's really different. It's different. Yeah, it's I guess you could say it's more Western culture type. It's it's more big that are, big city. But but you've got that too. Um but then you got the psychos in Saudi Arabia that'll that'll freaking tie you to a post and freaking Give you a hundred lashes for I've never take, been there. taking Allah's name in vain or some bullshit. Okay, I mean and I've you, never been there, so all I have is stories. Stories, I don't know. you got stories. Yeah, so, well, okay. believable. But when we went to Indonesia, people were saying, "Man, you got to watch out. It's a mostly Muslim country. Those people will lie to you. They'll cheat you. They're, they're terrible folks." Yeah, those are better Christians than the Christians. They, yeah. There, there's two kinds of of Islamic people of Muslims. The the before uh, Muhammad was a warlord and the after. Before Muhammad was a peaceful, gentle, loving man. After it's a kill you guy. So it, it yeah. just depends on what side of the of the line they're on. Those the people in Indonesia are wonderful yeah. people. The kindest, most considerate people that I've ever met. We walked down an alley that had people at two o'clock in the morning. That had people sitting along the edge of it smoking cigarettes. We didn't have a translator or anything. We walked down this alley to get to a Seven Eleven. People smiled and nodded, and so did we. And never an ounce of trouble from anybody. Nice. You couldn't do that in New York. Fuck no. You couldn't even do it in downtown Kansas City. Or most any of the bigger cities. See, overcrowding has a big play in the social fuck-up that we're living in. Yeah. I, this was in Jakarta. Millions of people. Then maybe it is the Western, because when when I was hitchhiking in the te- my teenage years, and I was leaving the first time, and everybody's like, I mean, to the East, because I'd been up and down the coast a few times, but I never went to Texas or Florida until I was 16. Oh, you're going to run into the rednecks, and they're going to do this and do that. And when I did run into people, they were the nicest people I'd met. They were nicer than yeah. the people I'd grown up with. Strangers. Yep, yeah. Pull over. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, are. Yeah. You know. Don't well, believe the propaganda. Yeah. Generally, most of the most of the people are just people that are trying to get along, do their thing. And, That's uh, it. That's I, it. Everybody I was on, I was on Interstate 10 driving to Florida, and I stopped at a gas station and got some extra water because my truck was running a little bit warm. I was worried. And I run into some people that were broke down on the side of the road, and what do they need? Water. So it was a good thing I had it because they didn't have any. And those days are gone. You can't do that anymore. Yeah. You know, if somebody was broke down on the side of the road and you pulled over to help them, they'd probably panic. 
And in my day, it was, oh, man, am I glad you stopped. I thought we were going to be stuck here for hours. Yeah. No. Yeah, that, that doesn't do happen need? so much yeah. anymore. Yeah, what do you need? Ah, yeah, you ride now somebody stops. It's like, what do you want, man? Why are you going to rob me? What? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we're all programmed by the state, all of us. Yeah, so they want us to all pray of each other. Yeah. And, and then they've got it to the point of, you know, hide in your little hidey holes. Lock down, get in your cell, you bunch of peons. I'm a proud American. I hate everybody equally. <laughs> yeah, you say that, but you don't. You don't mean it in the traditional sense of the uh, saying. I don't think. I've never no. heard a bad word out of you yet, Larry. And I've been trying to push you for a while. <laughs> but anyway, so we got we got Rob sorted out now, finally. Yeah, well, basically, Rob's starting over. Well, do you think that working um, on the camera, working like maybe uh, once a week together to see the see the act in, in action? Well, now that I've seen it, I know. I know what I'm. I know. I know what I'm trying to make now. Yeah. Oh, that so. That and 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 I've made the mis and I've made the mistake that I'm going to make. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. The good part. Well, so now part. now I have to now I have to make some more mistakes before we know where where to start over again. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> we but no, I think this 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 is yeah that that picture would have made saved all the difference. Work. Yeah, yeah well, it would have saved a little bit. Tape what you do now. Do a uh, yeah. like doing one of those fast uh, things where you do it over twenty four hour period. Yeah, play, no, anyway. right. <laughs> yeah, do a. I'll be uh, up in a half hour. What the hell they it, call that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Time travel. <laughs> time no, travel. the oh. time photos uh, thing. Uh, oh, time, time lapse. lapse. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's what I couldn't think of it either. But, yeah, you film it yeah. for a day, and then you show it in a minute. And it's like, yeah. You see a tree grow. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, yeah. Well, No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All the swearing. and. I don't even shit. have a webcam. I don't have a camera. Uh, oh, I mean, I've got, little, I've got a little... I've got a little camera my phone thing yeah you're lucky but man you know i'm what? not gonna stop so every glad. every minute and take a picture <laughs> i am still so glad i don't have one of those smartphones running my life yeah i don't have one of those but i I do have one that takes pictures that uh, i can plug into my you're, computer you're fancy i had yeah i'm all that. fancy and stuff i could text or i could call and, and i could never yeah. figure out how to text so <laughs> This one's actually more like a semi-smartphone. It's one of those that's <laughs> wide open. A remedial phone for beginners. That's, that's me. Yeah, it's semi-smart. It it'll co it'll connect to the internet actually, and you really? can get apps for it and what have you. But I've never had it connected to the internet. I never. Well, so hey, Larry. So outside of being convenient, there's nothing a cell phone does that your home computer doesn't do, right? Right. You just can't carry it with you. So yeah. it's just a matter of, you know, being addicted to yet another drug. As they, I are on the internet, to, you know? they are killing you with convenience. Yep. You can't convince them of that. They're, they're so convenience is turning into dependence. Yeah. They don't care. They'll take the beating to have the... That's the, like the uh, GPS like, program on the phones. Uh, I mean, it's just like phone numbers. No, yeah. nobody, nobody can remember a number anymore. Once <laughs> a month, once a month, they send me a, a, a picture of where I have been and what routes I took to get there. Yeah. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Uh huh. I carry my gun with me. Mm. <laughs> wow. Hope you don't ever have. Yeah, I feel either. safe. Yeah, I feel <sighs> safe. Not because of that, um, but yeah, you know the whole GPS tracking thing. That's that's the backside of it, but the convenience side of it is it's handy as shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I got. Are you willing would, to go uh, without it? Well, yeah, because yes. I'm I'm really good with directions. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I have a real good sense of direction. I know where I'm going. Yeah, I yeah. don't usually use. Even I, even with a GPS, <laughs> I wouldn't use it. 
I can read a map. Yeah, I know how to read a map. <laughs> uh, no shit. It's like a, now, like around here, if I need to find something, I I go on to Google Maps and look it up and figure out where it's at, and then I go to it. But well, all, I'm, carry all I'm really lunch. saying is, most people are not going to be willing to give up the convenience of no. What because they don't see the they don't see the back the bad the dark side of it. Right. Well, that's because or they don't I believe think, it. Yeah, their their belief system is you're nuts. This thing is my best friend. I couldn't live without it. Yeah. One yeah, little well, statement. Every well, these, single piece of electronic gear is harmful. Every single piece, from your laptop to your computer to your television to your cell phone. Every single piece puts out harmful radio waves, harmful magnetic fields. EMF. EMF. Yep. Electromotive force. So how long does it take for the effects of those things to break us down and give us illness, make us susceptible to illness? Within five years. Yeah, right. <laughs> with, with, within five minutes, your brain will heat up from using a cell phone. Oh yeah, because, of the, because of the microwave, yeah. that causes brain cancer. So how much you want to use that phone? If you put it in your pocket, that's definitely not the place to keep it. Uh, it's going to make people sterile. Yeah, Wi-Fi makes people care. sterile. Uh, children uh, uh, from twelve, from kindergarten through twelfth grade, half of the girls are going to be sterile and a little less than that of the boys, just because of the wireless Wi-Fi in the school. If they would all go hardwire, that wouldn't be there. It wouldn't be a problem. But after three uh, generations, we're not going to have any more children. Yeah. I, I, I said this on the last show. Uh, you know, you're not going to stop it just by taking it out of the schools. But everybody, every house has it. Yeah. Every, every house has a Wi-Fi router in it. Yeah, Hell, I got one sitting right for here. It's so 20th century, Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's convenience. I don't want to crawl under the house and run a fucking wire. It's strictly convenience. There's a lot of children in this area. Lots and lots of them. Okay, well, I need one of them to come crawl under my house and <laughs> drag a wire from my room to, up to the front room so I can... Get Everybody should have water. access to a young child just for <laughs> manual labor. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Lucy says, my best friend died of a cancerous brain tumor, and she didn't overuse her cell phone. Overuse. It's not Whatever the only thing that will cause it. No shit, but uh, it was what we were yeah. what we were that's picking on. I'm picking thing. on Cor these things. Correlation is not necessarily causation. Um, well, there's, my wife well, is addicted to, to, to her phone. Yeah, but that's, try taking it away from a teenager. Oh God, you're in for a fight. Because these things are so convenient, and they will not give up convenience for health. They don't give a shit. It's the way it is. Nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Advertisement. You know, ah. The other side's advertisement is so much better than ours. They, yep. they got, they've been at it longer. They know all the right words. That's you know, like why they're out there. They got yeah. billions to dump into it. Yeah, like the beauty of this dolt you got in the White House, he can flip flop and nobody can even tell, because he talks like <laughs> a moron any fucking way. So whatever the president says, he'll change it in the morning. Don't worry, it'll be something different on Twitter. Wow, where? How did we get here? I keep asking that question. But this guy's huge. He's got a lot to say, and there's a lot of people following whatever he tells them. So they've made this political thing out of a fucking cold to split a country. Well, actually, what I think is going on here, folks, is they've crashed the dollar. And to avoid the violence, 
they're doing it in increments under the guise of a pandemic because you've had enough movies to train you how to behave during a pandemic. You don't have any idea what to do during a financial collapse. Nor, I don't think most of us understand what the fuck a financial collapse truly is. Because they can prop this bitch up and pump trillions into it with their pretend money and keep the billionaires going but while all those small people starve. Oh, yeah. It's been one big party since the 30s. And slowly, slowly well, just taking, taking more the war, and more World away. War, World War II. If, well, um, the population was a lot smaller back then. There was less of us to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. But they still did it in the 20s the same way they did it now. They just did it in a, with a different story attached to it. Yeah, well, the Spanish flu, they did the same shit. I posted mm-hmm. a link I posted a link the other, earlier or yesterday about that. All the so articles reruns. about Right. Yeah. Reruns and here it's we are. It's the same shit. It's that it's that <sighs> same adage. Uh, those who fail to know their history are doomed to repeat it. Well, well look at the history they have to read about though. <laughs> Yeah. Well, written by the winner. That's that's why I didn't say uh, learn history, no mm-hmm. history. Mm-hmm. Well, I just tried to learn. And, and in order to know the history, you have to do more than uh, go to school. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. I wonder. Well, Tesla went to school. Talk to some old folks. Well, yeah, the school yeah. was different back. Talk to some people that were there. Yeah. Now school is not what it was uh, even when I was young. It's changed. No <laughs> way. Oh, God, it's drastically changed. This it's new like math is prison. stupid. Oh, my God, the new math is insane. That's just that common core crap. Yeah. That is the most ridiculous bullshit I've ever seen. Yeah, it it doesn't make sense. They want you to get an average. Uh, what it's it's close to this. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, try, math try is building math. a bridge being just close <laughs> to it. Yeah. Huh. It, it yeah. Uh, we should be teaching the children Vedic math. That's that's every single discipline in math. But they have such easy ways to do it. They can teach you how to do a cube root in the time that it takes you to look at it. Right. You oh, right. Automatically, the, yeah. know. Yeah. I've seen that. I've never followed up on it, but yeah, there's like little tricks, and well, yeah. maybe tricks isn't the right word. Shortcuts. Yeah. They're just recipes. If you follow these steps, boom, 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 you come up to the answer without doing all the written out work. Yep. And that was always looked badly on. Oh no no, we want you. We want to see your work. I used to mm-hmm. get in trouble in school for that all the time. Yeah. Well, is the answer right? Yeah. Well, then how come you want to see my work? Just show it to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? I was the same way. Yep. Because oh, I do math man. in my head. You know, I yep. did. Yeah. I did. I do most of it in my head. They didn't like. I'll that. write. I'll write shit down for reference, but. Um. Yeah, and I hated that shit. And look, now you're old and moldy, and you can still do it. Yeah. Go figure. Some some things can't be taught. Some things are developed. You know, you have it, and you develop it. Yeah. And some things somebody could show you 50 times, and you still, like me and the computer, I just do not have whatever it takes to make this logical. It doesn't work. It's always a scramble for me. Yeah. Don't know why. I mean, maybe I'm just retarded, just like Larry. Be a big old yep. retard. A Larry it's retard. A retard. <laughs> oh, well, I'm used to being called the names, but now that I'm older, I'm starting to live up to them. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just, I'm just full of information. It's just that it's all wrong. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Pretty much everybody. Not all of it. I just you've you've hit a detail or two, and you guys didn't slow down. See, I'm a real stickler for doing it slow. Fast gets you broken. So uh, we've kind of hurried through some of this on the radio, and, and it, 
It, I go it, fast so I can make all the mistakes and get them over with so I can get on to doing it right. Well, being as you're the one making them and you're not complaining, <laughs> you do it. Do whatever you got to do. No, I knew what I was doing. I knew I was fucking it up when I but, was fucking it up. Oh, yeah, but okay. you just having fun doing it. <laughs> Isn't that I was weird? Just hoping I, I was just hoping it was good enough to squeeze by, but... Um, <laughs> not in this world. It wasn't. No, no, you're in no, perfect Larry, land now, yeah. Larry said, no, nah, you done fucked up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we I hope we like a pig. Diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. We... Yeah. So now I've got to... Uh, Oh, it's going to be another 24 hours for me to print another donut. Uh-oh. So. And are you going to use a different uh, material to, to. Yeah, I'm going to use print? the ABS plastic, so it'll be a little more resistant to the heat. Oh, there's always that, too. Okay. I oh, that, that reminds me of a, of a curios, curiosity of, of just something that popped into my head, Larry. Um, the inside of this donut is hollow now. Yeah. I'm not sure if y'all are printed the same way because you can you can print them with fill on the inside, so it has like a structure inside. But this one's this particular one is hollow in the middle. Have you ever thought about or experimented with running different materials inside a donut? Yeah, and now I want to ask a question: okay. Why? I don't know. Uh, different effects. Okay, we could put uh, argon gas in there, and uh-huh. that would react under an electric charge. Uh huh. But what's the point? I don't. Yeah, that's. I don't yeah. know. This is just uh, things, experimentation. I'm a visionary, visual type person, yeah. so I, I'm sitting here thinking about the donut and looking at it. It's hollow inside. Hey, I wonder if there's a, you know, if we put a. You know, something. What will happen if I push this button? Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. Well, okay. I hadn't even, I actually, I hadn't even thought about the gas thing. I was thinking more along the different lines of uh, different exotic metals, and things like that or whatever. Or, okay. If or other cool. materials like ceramics that may interact. Okay. Somehow. The, the ceramics would block the magnetic field. Okay. The... Metals would turn it into an iron core, and you wouldn't be able to use high frequency with it. Um, there's there's a lot of good things about an air core, and when you're when you're getting power that starts voltage and amperage at the same time, that's clean power and 100% power factor. Mm-hmm. Then then you don't have to worry about all this other stuff. And the spikes that you're creating from your electronic circuitry to save the milliamps that's that's counter EMF. And you're not going to get to counter EMF because your voltage and amperage is starting at the same time. You won't have the spikes. You won't have the dropout spikes or the or the inst- yeah. or the energizing spikes. Okay. That's what clean power will do for you. Thanks for listening, Frog. Yeah, and I'm surprised that there's so many people there today. I really appreciate that. Yeah, there's uh, there's quite a few people listening. I have no idea. All I know is that it's the most interesting thing going on in my mind right now, and it's just a long process, so i got to be patient. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm starting it over. <laughs> well, ass. you got somewhere to go there, Mr. Lockdown? <laughs> yeah, I do, man. <laughs> uh, I got I got a I got a trip to Florida plan and I got I got a, we got to go to Sonoma mm-hmm. and I want to go to the Redwoods and then um Ooh, yeah, the Redwoods. Sometime uh yeah, the rainforest. Uh, yeah. And uh, well, yeah, that's a whole another excursion well, and then I, was, I want to sail around, pitching, and then I want to sail around the world sometime so that's like a couple of years and uh, yeah I got lots of places to be well I don't know if you can get a passport to do that with no more fuck a passport 
Uh, you get arrested in foreign waters out there without papers. You, you go to prison. It's a different world on the ocean. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when, uh, when I sailed in Mex from Mexico to California, I had to go to the yeah. passport to get stamped just to get on the boat. And it was a boat. It was 40 foot, maybe. 40, something yeah. Like that. It wasn't huge. But yeah. without no, a document, you yeah, <laughs> Trust me, I know all us, about it. <laughs> they got us so trapped. Well, I'm I'm done with yeah. my excursion days, but I learned a lot of stuff when I did them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a total around. pain in the ass to try to travel anywhere. Now, it wasn't 30, 40 years ago. No, no. You could, you could get on a plane, trader, and train or boat and go where the fuck you wanted. Yeah, and now they've got us all, you know, what do you call it? With that facial recognition crap they're using. Oh yeah, and yeah. Biometrics. Any big city, yeah. Any big city with cameras, you're you're just. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're just there for the picking, I suppose. <laughs> uh oh, Larry's not. Hmm. Sorry. We Larry. got Larry upset. Larry, we got we done. Got him all right. Yeah, I thought, you. Yep, I, thought I muted. I have another. <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thought I did and didn't. <laughs> oh well, it, it's it's a fun show anyway. But we're we're coming yeah. up. We got about ten minutes. Yeah. Or so. I started a little late. I had a little yeah, yeah, with could... my headphones. So yeah. five after, and I'll just mute up, yeah. and you guys yeah, can kill the end of the show. And I'll come in and I'll shut it down for you. All right, my man. I don't know what uh, where uh, we should finish off. What do you got, Larry? Anything you want to wrap up with? Hello. Saltwater nasal spray. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The the virus. Are you still, yeah. you're still choking. You need us to carry no. it. No, I'm all right now. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. The virus is probably a real thing, and yeah, it's bad for old people and people with problems already. Yeah. But more folks are getting over it. It it don't matter how many people get it, it's how many people die from it. And more folks yeah. are getting healthy than are getting dead. So there's yeah, they've got they're they're saying the death rate is comparable to the seasonal flu stuff but yeah, well i think seasonal flu has already killed more people than the coronavirus but yeah you know, i've heard i've heard stories both ways and but you can't really believe the numbers because they're 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 cooking the numbers right and left oh everything. yeah you know they're declaring anybody that shows up with a hangnail as a corona victim so <laughs> i mean well, on on an average day 1500 <laughs> people die from cancer and yeah. on on one of the reports, yeah. zero people died from cancer that day. Yeah. <laughs> now, so it, 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 you yeah. just everybody yeah, yeah. that dies died of coronavirus. That's it. So the numbers are cooked. They're they're way inflated. So even the numbers that they're putting out there are low, and and they're and those are cooked numbers. So it's even lower than that. They started out saying 200 million, then they dropped it down to 80, then 60, then 40, and now they're saying it's already over 35,000 or something like that. And you get you get conflicting reports from every direction, and that's what it is. That's and what they want. They want so much misinformation, disinformation uh, out there, flooding everything to the point where you don't know what the fuck's coming and going. So, uh, you know. You really don't really have any way of having any concrete way of knowing exactly anything. what the fuck is going on about anything. Yeah. Either you believe them or you don't. There's two yeah. choices. Buy it well, or don't buy it. Well, uh, there's the third choice. How, what is it? You, the third choice is it's all bullshit. <laughs> That's what I just said. You buy it or you don't. It's all bullshit. That's yeah. what it is. You don't it, means I'll the break big it down cities are elbow to elbow oh. people getting sick anyway. So you know, it, if you get away from the big cities, 
there's nothing happening in my area. Nobody's sick. Uh, in in downtown Kansas City, I think that they've lost eight people out of this whole season. So uh, it ain't no biggie. I mean, What's yeah, the about the yeah. virus. And those eight people were probably on the verge of dying anyway. anyway. Yeah. yeah. It, the, the virus just kicked them over the edge. I'm, I'm is, not saying that it's not really sad that people are dying, but dying is the best place I've ever been. <laughs> well, you have a unique well, perspective there. Yeah, and we are taught. Very rare perspective because there are other people that have that view. Yeah, yeah. But but the unknown, Rob, you, you're supposed to be afraid of it. Ooh, scary, fuck scary. That. I know. I've lived in the unknown my whole life, and I plan on continuing. I'm, this this adventure with you guys, with this radio coil thing. I, the I'm the guy. Thing. I'm the guy that flipped the quarter to see if I was going to hitchhike to California or Florida. From where? I ended up Texas. I ended up in Miami. Oh wow! Two losers. Lived business. under a bridge wow. there for, for three months. And where? I had a freaking blast. What part of Miami? I'm living a, right on the bridge going to the, to the beach. You remember the streets? But, Since I lived in Miami for a while. But well, years it was right, later, it was right next to us, to this big mall where they had these concerts every weekend. And they had the, the, the like an amphitheater steps coming up from the water. It was right on the water. So you're in North and, Miami? Yeah. It sounds like it'd be North. Yeah, I was a troll for a while, Grant. Um, that's actually where I saw a dead body floating under the bridge. But anyway, oh. that's an, that's another story. That was fun. But no, they used to have concerts there every weekend. They had these, uh, and it was a, there was a mall. It was shops and shit all along there, all along the water. Uh, there's a name for it. You know, I'm sure anybody, if you've lived there, you know, you would know. Well, exactly Miami's huge, though. I lived in I I lived closer to um, Coconut Grove than I did North Miami. I was at Second and Flagler. I wasn't was far south. from the from the. It was close to Little uh, Little Tijuana, or Little. Well, that that's where when I, I was living there, I went and went to the um, Coral Castle the first time. Never so heard I of never it before either. Ninety one, nineteen ninety one. I didn't know you went after they moved it. I was young. I went before they moved it. I I don't think no. I think I well then it must have been before not that because they it was still the original where the door on the pin. Yeah, it was supposed to be. It was it was off balance when I was there, so it was still the original body of building. Yeah, it it was it was always they moved it when they moved it they moved it whole but they moved it from Coral Gables. Whoa! I thought it was always in Homestead. Okay, no, I got they fucked moved on that to one. Coral Gables. Whoa! That's yeah. Okay, well, I went down to see it in uh, was it Hialeah. No, it's beyond Shit, Hialeah. That could be totally changed by now. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's been thirty years since I've been there. Something like that. Yeah, oh, this nice. was this was uh, um, late eighties. Yeah, and I remember when I was in my twenties going into a bar. Hey, anybody need some somebody to do some work? Fuck. Never have a day without work. Cuz oh, yeah, contractors would, you know, they'd be don't go in there for a drink or something. Yeah, I could use somebody. What do you do? <laughs> right. I learned a lot of quick trades because I was willing, you know. I didn't get into the electric like you guys did, but I I Yeah. yeah. I blew a, I blew got blown off the wall doing the wrong thing once. (laughs) (laughs) Boy, did I learn. It's just like the coil. You just got to learn on your own, at your own speed. Electricity is a very unique business. And and in testing, start at the very minimum of what you can produce and then go up little bits at a time and write it all down. Write it down. Oh, I'm the worst. Right. I'm, the, everything that. Down. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst at that, man. We hear you writing on the on the headphones. 
<laughs> I can hear the pencil in the paper. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that and you moving your mouth around while you're counting. Uh, well, fuck, I don't know where the hell it was now. Uh-oh, he's lost his notes. No, I'm Can't looking at Miami. It. I'm trying to figure out where it was. Um, and I think it's all changed. Uh, I don't think it's the same. Oh, yeah, the, the, the buildings, the, shit, they do so much. They do so much changing. But I, I used to hang out on Bird Road. And it went down to Coconut Grove. That was in South Miami. That was 30 years ago. I I can barely remember That's it. That's got anymore. to be it right there where it's. <laughs> He's looking for his troll days. <laughs> yeah, um, look for the amphitheater. Look for the amphitheater okay, on the beach. It's now, about what time. I what I got for notes is uh, Larry and Rob were are experimenting with making the perfect coil. And then I put up that link of the um, air bubble in the water with the light thing. Okay. And watts divi- divided by volts is amps. Huh? No? No? Yes. The fission report, and that that's as far as notes. If you're listening to the show, yeah. the rest of it will make sense. Yeah, it was mostly, we were just Man, mostly was ram- rambling on about stuff. Ah, we had fun. But it was a quick yeah. show tonight. But um, yeah, well, I really was yeah. interested in, in that, that bubble in the water. I, I didn't even know there yeah, was that, an that explanation was, I, for it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that makes sense, what, what Larry <laughs> said, um, with the hydrogen. Uh, if, if I hadn't been involved in hydrogen production, I wouldn't have known that. Uh-huh. So um, let's talk about next week. Um Larry, you preferred the earlier show, right? It really doesn't matter. Whatever's convenient for for you guys, I'll do it um, anytime. The earlier the better for me, and and that's super. I can do it at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, yeah. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> no. Let's, let's not get crazy. Let's crazy here. Let's yeah, let's here. not get all crazy and stuff. We can leave. But what do you think? What do you, What are your thoughts, Flash? I mean. I don't really care. It's now with the circ home from work, it doesn't interfere with anything anymore. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I was picking her up, you know, from work. So is there any objection to doing it at one so to make Larry happy? No, just got to know what time one is. My time is all. An hour earlier? Oh, yeah. Eight o'clock's fine. Sure. That's eight my time. Sure. Yeah. Or that, seven yeah, hours well, different, Larry. Okay, yeah. that way you won't be up till late at night. Yeah, that way you won't well, be, be up, up anyway. No, it's that yeah. that won't change anything. But eight's fine. Okay. I can do that for you. Okay, so we're going to change the schedule to one o'clock, uh, ongoing basis. Yeah, Central Time. Um, so from now on, one o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Got it. I'll All tattoo right. that on my nephew's arm. Perfect. <laughs> Cool. First That's thing. all I had. All right. Okay. All right. so, so remember, guys, just like Red Green says, if your wife can't find you handsome, at least she can find you handy. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. <laughs> right, right. Okay, guys. <laughs> that is. All right. Yeah, I'll see you all later. Thanks a all lot, right. Larry. Thanks a lot, right. Rob. I had a good time tonight, as usual. Yeah, me too. It's always see fun. next week. All righty.